All right, so this is the Metafusion's bot, all right? This is how the bot looks like. And basically what this bot does for you is you link this bot via API. You link it via API to your Binance account. Currently, if I come in here to where it says Binance API, currently the exchange that is active is Binance, all right? Who will be will be coming later and then the Genesis pool will be coming later. But what is active right now is Binance. So it means that for you to be able to use the Metafusion's board, you need a Binance account and then you need the board itself. So the board only helps you to trade fissures. It is only for fissures trading. It is not like a spot trading board that we, we are used to, okay, that is not making our profit right now that we are in a downtrend, okay? So you come in here, all right? And then you, you, you activate the board, link it up to your Binance. It costs you 150 USDT, okay? To activate this board for a whole year. You can use it for a whole year and after a year you can renew it back, all right? And after you've linked it up to your Binance, you need to have money in your Binance account. The balance you are seeing here, the money you are seeing here is in the Binance account, not in this board. But because during the API, we enable reading, it means that the board can read the balance in your, in your board or in your Binance account and display it here, all right? And then it can automatically via that API, what we are simply giving it is the ability to trade on your Binance account, all right? That is how it has been developed. So once you link it up, you have two options or three options to, of using this board. Number one, the automation mode, Okay, is to use the board that is currently in use right now is this one called the edge board, all right? If I scroll down here, you see that the board is already activated, all right? That is the board currently doing its work right now. So you see the board is already activated trading. I don't need to select those coins that the board is trading. I don't need to put stop loss or take profit. The board handles that automatically, okay? It handles that automatically. This account was just activated today. So if I come in here to pairwise, all right, um, it gives you daily, let me say monthly, okay? So it means that for today alone, it was activated this afternoon. For today alone, this board has made $3 with no losses, okay, for this account and the trades are still going. So whenever the board sees opportunity, it automatically buys, so you don't need to do anything. It does this automatically for you. And the profit you make is based on the settings you put on the board. So if I click on the edge board, okay? So I just decided that the first amount should be $10 and then it should only trade two coins for me. That is what it's actually doing right now, okay? So, and then the other one that you need a bigger amount to be able to use is this one called the super board, all right? Currently, to use the super board, you need $10,000 to be able to do this, okay? You need $10,000 to be able to use the super board. So you just go ahead and click on agree. If you have money and then this is where you just go ahead and carry out your trading and the board. All you just need to do is put in the amount, okay? Click on start and the board start doing the magic for you automatically. But right now it is the demo account that is currently working, all right, on the super board. The live account will be launched next week. So if you have $10,000, if you have 3,000, I think the minimum is $3,000, then you can use the super board and be expecting to be making profit on a daily basis or on autopilot. Okay, you don't need to do anything. If you don't have that amount of money and then you want to do the manual trading, which is what I'm gonna share with you this evening, okay? The manual trading will require you looking at that Excel sheet I shared with you the last meeting, all right? For those of you who will be activating the account, I will equally share that with you. So you go ahead and do it. And one beautiful thing is that the board equally selects, uh, make selection of coins that you can trade right here. So here we have top 10 gainers. And then if you click this, you will switch it to top 10 losers, okay? If I click on this icon right here, all right, it gives you similar recommendations. Should you buy or long the, or short the market? This is what it is, okay? Here on the 15 minutes is saying buy. If I go to the 30 minutes, the recommendation equally says buy, meaning that I'm going to long the market. If I go to the one hour, the recommendation says buy, all right? So if you want to be doing manual trading, this is when this now comes in play, okay? If I go to the one minute, 
So, okay, you see sell on the one minute, you see neutral on the five minutes or there about. So if I check all of this time frame and I see buy, 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 okay? When I see buy, 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 buy throughout, if I click on this to open it up, when I click on it to open it up, on the chart, the default chart that comes with the, the board, okay? You have the moving average um, line here, and then you have the RSI, okay? So currently the RSI on the 15 minutes time frame, the RSI is showing 61. Now, if I have seen this trade somewhere around there, maybe at this candle, then if, and then I decided to short the market, even when the, uh, the board is saying buy, I decided to short the market by now, I would have been in profit, okay? For you to be able to buy, all right, to buy into any coin, despite whatever signal the board is giving you, it means that your RSI, okay, should be showing anything below 30. I will share that on Binance for you. It should be showing anything below 30. All right, if it is showing 27, 20, 25 years, then you can go ahead and buy, all right? There is every probability that the market will go up. Then if it is showing 75, 80, or there about up here, when you see 80, 75, you go ahead and short the market. There is every probability, there is every probability that the market will definitely go downward, all right? So that is just what I want you to note. And I want to share a coin that I actually look at today and trade it. And uh, I, I would share a case study with that coin and then let you know how to be able to enter the market. So if I go back and open my trading view, all right, if you must trade crypto, most especially when it comes to futures trading, then you need to have trading view, very, very important. So if I come down here, there's this coin that is uh, this OGN USDT, okay? OGN um, USDT is um, a coin that was trending since last night, okay? And throughout today, it was number one top gainer. And there was reason for why this coin <laughs> was a top gainer. So if I click on it, all right? So when I click on it, you see that um, if I go to the four hours time frame, okay? So if you check from here, all right? So if I click and hold on this candle here, let me drag this to the candle. Down here, you see the date, meaning that from the 2nd of July, this market has been going up, this coin has been going up, and it went up from around 24 cents to close to 40 cents, okay? Close to 40 cents. And then what happened? All of a sudden, the market is returning back, okay? The market is returning back. So as I, when I was looking at this coin, you see that the RSI here, this is the RSI, this green one shows the RSI um, line, okay? It was around 77 to 80, depending on the time frame you were looking at it, 77 to 80. So what, what I did was, I just waited for the coin to go up a bit, all right? And then I decided to short the market. And right now that trade is in profit, doing it manually without using the, the board, okay? So right now that trade is in profit. And when it hits the target, it will take profit and exit the market. And you know why this coin, coin pop? Aside the fact that RSI was showing overbought, another reason why what makes this coin pump is because they are offering, the origin protocol is offering um, an airdrop for every holder of this coin. So if you have uh, money in your Binance account, you can do that if, if they are doing it on, across all exchanges. They are doing the airdrop on Binance, on KuCoin, every exchange that it, this coin is listed on. Okay, so what they are simply doing is that that airdrop will be taking place starting from tomorrow, being the 5th of July. So everybody wanted to get that airdrop. When you are holding this OGN um, token, it means that the other token that they're going to give to you, you will get the equivalent of whatever you are holding all for free. So if at the end of the day, that token is not listed and it is selling at $1, $2, $3, it means that if you have $1,000 of those tokens, 1,000 of those tokens, and the token, they, the airdrop they gave you is 1,000 of the equivalent of what you have already, you have made $1,000, okay? There are people like the whales, okay, for my research, the whales who are holding um, some of this coin are holding millions of this particular token, okay? They are holding millions of this particular token, meaning that when that airdrop takes place from tomorrow, I think it will be ending on the 12th or thereabout, 
when it ends, these people will be getting that token. And there is every probability that this market, this coin will continue to drop on the 12th. Now that it has started dropping is because everybody has finished buying, okay? And they are waiting for the airdrop. After the airdrop, the market will not keep dropping again. So you as a future trader, you look for those opportunity to short the market. This is one thing looking at the news, why a particular coin is pumping. The reason why a, a coin, even when Bitcoin was around 18,000, 19,000 or thereabout, this coin was still pumping, pumping and pumping. So when you look at the coin, why it is pumping, you want to know what exactly is driving that. As for this coin, the news of that airdrop was what was driving it, okay? So that if you don't base your decision alone on the, the RSI to short or long the market, you can look at why the coin is pumping. And how do you do that? It's very simple, okay? If I go to coin market cap, now the bot does this for you, uh, make it, things easy for you. If I come in here to the bot, okay, let me go back to the homepage. So the bot is saying right here that the coin that is um, top gainers right now is this one, okay? So first I want to look at why this coin is pumping, okay? In most cases, because maybe the market Bitcoin moves forward, that is why. They, but in most cases, there is a particular news, all right, that the developers or the inventors of that particular token have, you know, um, tweeted or something, said something about it. That is why it is pumping. Okay, so what I would do is when I look at it, okay, or just scroll and go to the next one, for instance. When I look at any of these coins that are top ten gainers, I want to go and know why they are pumping. So what do I do? I'll go to coin market cap. In this case, let's do the um, um, NG. I think it's NG. What is it again? NG. Uh, sorry, what's that token again? The one we wanted to look at. Okay, OGN. Sorry, it's OGN. So I'll go to coinmarketcap.com and then go and search for that OGN token. All right, so this origin um, protocol, click on it, okay? So when I click on it, right now the coin has started dropping. If I click on it, the next thing I want to do is, I'll come down to where it says, here where we have overview market, historical data and the rest. So if I scroll to the left, okay, you see all of these headings. So first you want to look at news, Okay, if there is any major news about this coin, you will get it here on coin market cap. Okay. Okay, so this was like a month ago. This was like a month ago, two months ago. So I'll leave that. Um, another thing I look at is I'll look at the socials. Okay, what um, people are saying on social media about them. All right, so you look at socials. Okay. And then you, you, you get some of the tweets. Okay, this is from the origin uh, uh, in particular, all right? And then you get some of the tweet, get some of the tweet. I think it was from here, I saw somebody mention the airdrop stuff, all right? Okay, so you see um, they are saying here, if I click on it, it takes us to the official Twitter page. So on the official Twitter page, you get the information about whatever they are doing, the airdrop, all of that, that was where I knew that they are doing a drop, okay? So um, I had two options. Either I go ahead and trade it as um, along the market and follow suit, as people are buying, I'll be making profit for myself, or I'll go ahead and buy some of this token and hold it on my Binance account and you know uh, qualify to equally get the, the airdrop that they are giving up, okay? So if you don't look at news, if you don't look at news, okay? Another thing you need to look at is comment. There is an option for comments here. Um, comments, comment, comment, comment. Okay. I, I guess these people don't have comments. Okay. Oh, let's go to the overview. There should be some comments. So on the overview, if you scroll down, yes, there are comments. Once on the overview, you see that there are some comments here. What people are saying. Okay. This person commented like, uh, six hours ago, and he's saying what? What did the person say? This is six hours ago, and he said pump, pumping a lot, okay? OGN, we have an airdrop tomorrow, 5th July, based on a snapshot, 
okay? Based on its natural, if you click on read more, so you just get this information. If you don't see it in the comment section, you will see it in the social section, or you will see it in the news section, all right? So coin market cap is all that you need to know why a particular coin is pumping. Now this person commented at this, and I knew that because that airdrop is going to happen starting from tomorrow, people will want to buy to make sure that you have you are having the coin already before that tomorrow. And now because this coin is listed on futures trading, I just go ahead and long the market. When I long the market and make profit to a certain state, it will get to a state. That is when I will now come back and start looking at the ROSI itself. So after pumping, I will now be paying attention to the RSI, okay? Once the RSI is now showing here, 80, anything above 70 is overbought. So 71, 75, 77, 80, and then about is overbought. It is telling you that it is overbought. And when it is showing that overbought, there is every tendency that people will now start selling. People will now start selling. So at that point in time, I will now look at it and then go and sell short, okay? When I sell short, as the market is going in my favor, I'll be making profit. And then I need to go from this sell overboard to the oversold level. Once it's showing anything below 30, 25, 20, or even less than 20, it means that it is overward, but it is oversold. So once it's oversold, there is every tendency that the market will pump. That is how the crypto market moves. It doesn't go one way. It's not a one-way thing, okay? Where it will just be pumping and pumping. That is why some persons who are investing in crypto right now are being disappointed because they feel because they bought, bought Bitcoin at $30,000, Bitcoin will continue to go up and then hit 100,000, hit $1 million. If it doesn't hit that way, they get frustrated, they will sell. Okay, people who bought Bitcoin at $60,000, they ended up selling at $15,000. Doesn't make any good, any sense. You've been holding all this, why? Why sell at 15,000? Why sell at 19,000? You are losing almost more than 50% of the amount of money you invested. So why do that? And somebody will tell you at all at all, nine bad. Make a hold the world where I see. Please, it's not a good investment strategy. If you must buy and hold, hold for a long term, okay? In two years from now, have you even wonder why micro strategy, why the El Salvador president, they keep buying most of this Bitcoin? Does it mean that in the future, Bitcoin will just vanish to thin air and they will lose all these millions of dollars or billions of dollars they are investing in this? Okay? People like MicroStrategy, they are the one, even if that man dies today, the company will still be the one, the children's children's children will still be the one enjoying this years to come. If you have listened to his interview, he's looking at 100 years from now, not even today. He's looking at 100 years from now. Who told him that he will be alive 100 years from now? But he's doing it for his future generation. So when you see opportunity in the crypto space, take it. Some of us are just busy about, uh, you know, you are telling somebody to come and trade uh, for features and they're asking you, if I put in $100, how much will I get in a day? How am I supposed to know? I can't tell you that it's only the, all this Ponzi scheme that I've told us you will get 2%, you'll get 3%. But with $100, I've showed us here, if you have been consistent in my Zoom meeting, you can get more than $100 in a day trading features. With $100, you can get more than $50 in a day trading features. So it's not about uh, uh, whether you get the amount of money. And the same way you get some of this profit, some of us who are careless in trading the market, you can equally get that money lose in the market as well, all right? So I, I am actually saying too many things at the same time, but I just want you to get the idea, all right? So when we start looking at some of these indicators, there are hundreds of indicators in trading view. I will try my best to make sure that I keep explaining some of these things, but with the RSI alone, you can make decisions in the market and make gains. You can make decisions in the market and make gains at a very shorter time frame. All right, so I will leave it here for questions. All right, so that will not keep us too long in the meeting. And um, um, through your questions, I'll be able to throw more light on whatever you don't understand. So you can raise your hand, you can um, use the chat, okay, if you want, and uh, go ahead. Just unmute yourself. I think let me give you that privilege. Yes, you can unmute yourself and make your contributions. Sorry, sir. 
with the manual, please, can you, can I start with $100? Sorry, um, I came in late. Yes. Yes, you can start with $100, but the problem is um, when it comes to, you know, that if you um, participated in the last meeting, okay, if you have not seen that I have a video on YouTube, understanding uh, meta features, you will need a minimum of 300, 350 to be able to cover up to that 50 margin calls, okay? But once you are certain in the market that the market is going in your direction, yes, $100 can make you profit. You can grow that $100 to the $300 that is required for the margin calls and be able to use it. So yes, but you must be careful with the trade you enter because now Brother. the essence of the margin call, the essence of the margin call on the Meta Features board is that when the market is going against you, that is exactly what that margin call is all about, okay? If I go to the settings yes. of the board, the essence of the margin, okay, let me even do that with a trade that is currently going in. So with the one you are just showing uh, a few minutes ago, that's when the one I'm asking, so like you go and copy the trade from the Meta officials and go to your maybe Binance and enter the trade or something. That is what I'm saying now. I, I, I can't go to Binance to enter the trade. I carry out the trade here. If I see that coin okay. that I want to trade, I trade it using the board. The board automatically places this trade on the Binance account. And why I use that is because of what we call margins, okay? Right, right here, this trade that is going against me right now, um, the board automatically sets four margins. And out of that four margin, one have been covered, okay? So it's still remaining one out of four have been covered. So it means that when the market goes against me to a certain level, the board will automatically again buy, but that is what the margins are all about. The board will automatically now buy more in the market. And when it buys more, it brings my entry price closer to the market price. Okay? When it buys more, it brings my entry price closer to the market price, meaning that if with any little move upward in my favor, that trade will now be in profit and the board takes profit. So the margin call itself, which is what I want us to understand, is trading the market under probability, okay? And this is automatically handled. That is why I use the board. Because if I'm not done, the market is going against me. I want the margin to cover up to the 50th margin, if possible, and then make profit for me when the market now reverses, um, um, now go back in the direction in my, in my favor, okay? So that, that margin call requires that you need, if, if your first purchase amount is uh, $10, you must have $10 into 10 50 places, okay? If your margin call is that the first call you should buy one time, second call you should buy one time, and then the 50th call you should buy one time, then you need $10, $10 into 50 places. So $10 by 50 is that much. That is money you need on standby to be able to cover. If it is $7, you need $7 into 50 places. That is how much you need on standby to be able to cover the market, and it continues to go on like that. And that is exactly what the super board is using. That is why it is required that you must have $10,000 to be able to use the super board. If you have $10,000, the super board will automatically be siphoning money for you from the futures market on a daily basis. I don't know if that is understand. Um, who has a, are you, were you the one who asked the question? I don't know if you understood what I said. Sorry, sir, I went offline. I mean, the one you you talked about, okay. um, you go to coin market, get uh, when it's seventy percent, uh, when it's seventy, but I think percent or something, you you it's buy, exactly, and when it comes, it's to, exactly the same thing I'm explaining. When okay, you sir. buy now, yeah, now when you buy, when you buy, for instance, if you have bought, if you saw this coin somewhere around there, and you went ahead and sold. The coin now started going up again, going up until it got here. If it goes up here, there is every tendency that you get liquidated along the line. So using the bot now will not be using the margin calls. That is why I'm explaining margin calls. That this thing I'm explaining is that your $100 can only work for you with the manual trade when you are certain that the trade is going to go in your favor. If the trade for any reason reverses back, if it goes in your favor a bit and then it reverses back, you may get liquidated because you don't have enough money to cover the margins. Okay. 
Yeah. Yes, you need money to cover margins. So when it is going against you, you need money to buy more. You need money to buy more. It is called matching go strategy. When the market is going against you, you need money to buy more. So that as you are buying more, it is bringing your entering price, okay? Your entering price closer to the market price so that within a short move in the market, you can make profit. All right? Professor, how much is it? Da? Hello? I mean, yes. how much is the activation fee? Is one fifty, one fifty dollars. That is what the activation fee is for, cost for the year. For a year, yes. Okay. Yes, Jones, you can um unmute yourself, okay? Then mute yourself. Mr. Jones, you can unmute yourself. I tried the manual as well and and. Honestly, you made me some money. I, I took the signal, the coin from here, and I, I checked, I followed your instruction about the, uh, the Bollinger Bands and the RSI. And at least, honestly, it, it really worked. Maybe I'm sure maybe I was lucky. I was lucky, but I was able to hit about 120%. One was also about 200%. And it wasn't bad at all. It's all right. Um, aside being lucky, you should equally try to understand. Once you understand how to use some of those tools, you are good to go. You can always mm -hmm. make decisions that will favor you in the market. Sure, sure. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. A any other question? Any other contributions? Good, e good evening, Mr. Liu. This is Henry on the line. Good evening. Yes, I just want to confirm now. Okay, with someone with $100 um, credit or balance, what kind of trade would you advise this person to take? Use the edge board. Use edge the board. board. Yes. But, uh, from experience from people that are saying the edge boards only trade on um, Ethereum and BNB. Yes, when you select two coins, it only trade. BFD and Ethereum. Then when you select one coin, it can either trade either Ethereum or BNB. And the reason for that is because some of these coins are the coins that are not, um, will I say not too volat volatile or they are bad. And there are the, like the safe coin. Hashboard trades on the same mode for you. It doesn't want you to lose money. And yes, with BNB, BNB and Ethereum moves very well in the market. So trading that, those two coins alone can make you money in the market as well. Okay, with the on Except you have, except and you can make your trade. Buy? Say again. What would be the first buy? A hundred dollars, you can use ten dollars as the first buy. Okay, for two coins on edge coin. Edge yeah, yeah, for two coins, that two coin will cost you around 75 or thereabout. That is what the board will tell you. That is exactly what you are risking. So you need um, those two coins, okay, as $10, or you just trade one coin with the $10. Okay, with uh, the 100 with the hundred uh, dollar, one cannot do scalping with your own um, strategy. You can, you can, but what I'm saying is you can only do that when you are very sure of the market movement. And I give an instance again, okay? Let's say you came in, okay, aside the fact that this coin is dropping this way, let's say you saw that it was um, somewhere around here, okay, let's say somewhere around there, you saw that the coin was already overbought. Okay. And then you decided to short the market. When you decide to short the market with your hundred dollar, and all of a sudden you saw this, you see this week, this line move just move from this price, they just move upward this way. There is okay. every probability that it will get liquidated because of this sharp movement in the market. Okay, so you must okay. be very sure of the movement in the market before you can use your hundred dollars. Yeah, you can even use ten dollars to trade. But these are for those who know the movement in the market. You must understand some of these things we are explaining before you can use it. Yeah. For instance, if yeah. you entered to short the market somewhere around it, you would have been in profit with your $100, right? 
Yes. Yes. Even if you have shot it around with the second candle, you will shoot, you would have still been in profit. Remember, I am looking at this at the four hour time frame. Okay. So if I go yes. to the one hour, for instance, if you have seen this for the past, this is you cut this candle. This is the how many hours it has traded. Let's say you saw it the first hour and then you traded. By now, you would have been in profit. So you must be very certain of the direction of the market with your hundred dollar, and that way it will continue to go in your favor. Yes, with hundred dollar you can, with ten dollars you can. But why we are using more than that or recommending more than that is, if the market goes against you, the board should be able to buy more and then keep you in a position where you can make money faster and exit the market. Okay, so if you must do with hundred dollar with your fifty dollar manually, you must be very certain of the direction of the market. That way you'll be able to make money for yourself as well. But even even in the market, and I'm watching the market, and I saw that the market is about going against me, I can come out of the trade immediately instead of getting liquidated. That is when, yes, that is when stop um, stop um, loss comes in. Okay, you need to set your stop loss, you need to set your take profit and the rest. So when it hits your stop loss, find the trade is closed. Aside that, you if you don't put stop loss, then you can get liquidated uh, just like that. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Any other question? Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Yes, go ahead. I can. Who, who is speaking, please? This is Dana. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Dan, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Dan, go ahead. Okay. Actually, this is uh, today is my first day of joining you people in this platform. So You're welcome. Is, uh, okay. Thank you, sir. I bought a prime board that was last month. So after the activation, I funded the, my Binance account. And uh, the board started trading. But the, all the money that I put there, I never see any, any turn up as in gain. Never see any gain. So I contacted the man. He said that uh, uh, that I don't have uh, enough uh, capital. That is why I'm not making any gain. Then I need to refund this again. Up to three times, I put money there. But even up to now, I never see any gain. So how do I go about it, sir? Um, well, whosoever you contacted did not direct you well. Prime board, if you are using Prime board, if you are using Royal Q, any board that is trading spot, okay, any board that is trading spot, with what had happened in the market right now, those boards can barely make you money. Say you want to have a hundred thousand dollars in your account. Any board that is trading spot, even if you put in five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, eh, that board will hardly make you money right now. Because the market is very, very. In fact, what is happening in the market now can hardly prof, that board can hardly make you money. Okay. So when you look at my chart here, you see that we are in a downtrend in a bear market. The board can hardly make you money, whether it is Prime Board or Royal Q. So all I advise people is that because you bought, let's say you started trading where Bitcoin was 30,000. 28 or 29, you don't need to do anything right now. You just need to let the money sit down there until the board, it goes in your favor and the board closes the trade for you. Then you can stop the board or continue to use it. Okay, we we're enjoying some of those boards when we were in an uptrend because when the market is moving up, it is always good. It is, the board is always making money for you sharp, sharp in the market. It is always making money for you sharp, sharp in the market. For instance, if you have started using that board right now, okay? I don't know how low this market will continue to go, 
But if you start using that board right now, and all of a sudden from 19,000 will get to 20 something, 24, 25, 26, and then about, you will be seeing profit on a daily basis every day. Okay? But now that the market is in a very down, a beer, we are in a beer market, you can hardly make money or profit using that board. That is because it trades sports for you. So the board is only instructed to buy low and sell high. So if you bought at 30,000 and then the market is now 20,000, it will not sell for you. It will wait to sell above 30,000. That is the only way you can make profit. Okay. That's yes. Today I need to exercise patience. Exactly. With it, all, all of this board at risk, you need to exercise patience until everything goes in your favor. That is why we are happy about the meta future zone. All you just need to do is to look at the direction of the market and you make your profit and exit the market. Okay, sir. But can you tra uh, trade manually using meta futures? Yes, you can trade manually using meta futures. Or you can do the automation mode using the specified board, whether the S board or the super board. Okay, sir. All right. So maybe as time goes uh, goes by, uh, when I'm I have learned the basics from the meta future, then I can join in trading. It's all right but now. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Yeah. All right, so for those who want to try out using a hundred dollar, I, I would just say you can use the board, okay? Get ideas from the board, then go to your Binance, place your trade, put stop loss, put take profit, and then go about your daily activities, okay? If your predictions are right, definitely, um, it, once you follow the instruction of the board or thereabout, because if you use the board, the board will be expecting to do margin calls and the rest, okay? So if you use the board, it will be expecting to do margin calls and the rest. If you don't get it, then you are at risk. But when you do that with um, with Binance, on that means you need to go on your own, set the trade on Binance, put your stop loss, put your take profit, and so on. And you you know when it goes in your favor, you, pay, you make profit. That way, when you raise the money up to what the board requires, then you can start using the board. Okay. So that is what I would say, get registered on the board, if possible, activate it, but be getting ideas from the board, get the signals from the board, go to your Binance and take the trades and give and see how it works, all right? That is what I would advise for those who um, are having a hundred dollar or thereabout to do the manual trade. Any question? Yes, Mr. Leonard, it joins again. Okay. Yeah, so uh, one is a question and the other is I'm unable to share my screen, so I don't know if we can do that. They still want us to do it after the call. Yes, go ahead and share your screen if you can. Share the screen right now so that... Uh... Mm. All right, Christian, I will share the recording. And um, if I, the board is $150, okay? To activate it for a year, it costs $150. So. Please, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so let me go to the board. Okay, all right, so this is the settings. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, five X, ten dollars as your cost. Okay, scroll down. Um, the trade, hold on. The trade starts callback is zero. So put zero there. Okay. Okay, all right, scroll down.
Um, uh, yeah, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Let me see. Okay, the margin call limit should be 50. The margin call limit should be 50 times. Then go okay. to the margin configuration. Click on the arrow and then hold on. Where you say first call, make it 1%. From first call to the 30th call, make it 1% throughout. Yes. Okay. Just go ahead and okay, I'll do that though. Okay. So you, please use the, uh, the Excel sheet I sent to you to do the margin Yeah, uh, I think initially I did everything. So I, I don't know why it changed. So we can look at the address later. I'll and come then back to the your, whole, your whole position take profit is two. I don't know. You leave it at 2.5 ROE. You can make it, just make it 1.1. <laughs> hey, Mr. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very possible the market can go 12% ROE. I don't doubt that, but just make it 1.1, okay? Make it 1.1 okay. so that you can be making profit faster in the market. Okay. So when the market moves by 5.5, .5, you are making profit and you exit the market. Mm -hmm. So the whole position okay. take profit, just leave it at zero. Okay. They buy calling, call back, leave it at zero as well. Okay. And um, just save, Co click on confirm, then you take a time and- How about it? it? Liquidation. No, you, just leave those ones. I don't think it will get to the level of getting you liquidated. Okay. okay. So take a time and do the configuration, use the, the settings on that Excel sheet to do the configuration and then try to take a trade as well. Okay. All right. Thank you. So, and the other one is uh, I made some observations ever since I started using the app. And this is the observation I've made. So far, I've traded on about three coins. And I think the first one was is it UNFI? Yes, UNFI. So I realized that when it starts to, when they start, it starts to pump, it pumps to about, let's say 12 hours after the pump, it spikes and it drops. So usually right after 24 hours, it start dropping and it could drop to about negative 10. And this happened for all the other three coins I observed. So this is what I, I did for the, I think the first $50 I made as profit on Binance. I checked, I monitored it for a while. So when I realized that it was time for it to drop, I just shot the market. And went as far as 200, yes, plus 200%. So it got to about nine and I stopped, I left the market. So the follow up question is, is it always the case comparing the data of these three coins? Because all these three coins followed the similar trend. 12 hours, it pumps to a level. Then after 24 hours, it starts to drop. Same is happening for this current coin that is dropping. So I don't know if that's always the case. Well, um, th 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 this this was are just a few findings you just find that among others. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the um, that coin, do I have it here? I think I should have it on my list here. Hold on. Okay, let me do the U N F. Okay, so if you look at this, it's, it, this is. This is the crypto market for you, okay? It doesn't move that way. You can see that here, it pumps up to this level, all right? And you say 12 hours, but if you check here, this is, I'm on the one hour time frame, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm on the one hour time frame. If you can this, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's almost 15 hours, okay? Mm -hmm. It was from here that it started retracing back. And this is more mm -hmm. than 12 hours and then it, it traces back here and then it pumps again, okay? So is some of this coin, majority of this coin follows the movement in BTC. 
If you check when this coin was pumping, you'll see that BTC actually pumped. All right. So uh, if I over okay. over this year, if I over over this year, you see that this was at, as at June 22nd, okay, around 4 p.m. If you check BTC, you see that that same time BTC was equally pumping. So majority of this coin, it is only few coins that don't follow when BTC is going left, they are going right. But majority of this coin follows the direction. When BTC pumps, it follows immediately. When it drops, it follows immediately. Okay. Mm -hmm. So all you just okay. need to do, you can monitor a particular token, you can monitor a particular pattern, and then decide to follow it. The fact that it is always 12 hours doesn't mean that it is always every now and then. So make sure that you mm -hmm. look at the market critically before you, you don't just assume that it's every 12 hours and then you go and, and shut the market and then all of a sudden it continues to go up. So always look at the market, look at the indicators, and once it gives you the right signal, go ahead and follow the direction you want to go. Okay. So one last thing. With this current coin, this, uh, let me see. Uh, what's your prediction on it? This, uh, oh, it's even below. This OGN, it's now even 12. What's your prediction? Is it likely to go down further to daybreak or are you predicting or are you suspecting it to go up again? Um, sorry, let me go to the end. This is where it is, okay? I'll go to the 15 minutes time frame. Let's look at it, okay? Um, so right now, you see, if I look at the time frame here, uh, my RSI, okay? RSI is currently at the 50 level. So um, I will not take any direction in this market right now. And if I look at the one hour right now, you can actually scalp a short down market and make profit. You see that on the one hour, the market is in range. It's not moving up, it is not moving down, okay? So the RSI is in this middle line right here. It is not above the line, it is not below the line. So I may not be doing anything here so that I don't get, you know, um, you know get, get into trouble and the rest. Okay, so I can only decide to short the market when they, this, um, my RSI is trading above this 70 line, okay? This line here is, uh, let me expand this, okay? The line here is the 70 level. This one is the 30 level. So this RSI is just at the middle. It's not moving up, it is not moving down. So I cannot take any trade right now. So this has to be just like you saw here, okay? It was here. At the 89, it went up this way, it pumps from here, and here you see that 89, all right? So at this 89, once I see this way, I'll go ahead and short the market. And then it dropped down to the middle here, it didn't get down to the 30th level, and it started just ranging. So it has to be above the line, the 70 level or below the 30 level before I can make any decision in the market. Oh, okay. All yes. right, thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. Um, any other question? Yeah. Hello, sir. Yes, go ahead, Mr. Dan. Okay. Is the lesson every day? Say again. I ask, is the lesson every day? No, it's not every day. It's always Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Okay, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Yes. Commencing time is. Sorry, I didn't get your last question. I said commencing time. The time. Yes, the timing will be the same. Always um, 8 p.m. Nigerian time. Okay, sir. All right. Thank you. You're I welcome. enjoyed your lesson. Yeah. That was All right. I, I hope you'll be able to learn something as time goes on and start implementing it yourself. Yeah, although I came in, I just logged in eight for the something. Sorry. So but anyhow, I I grabbed something. It's all right. You're welcome. All right, thank you, sir. All right, any other question? Ayo, you want to say something? 
Yes, Agalio, I just want to, you know, the other time you say if you have hundred dollar and you can be using it to, to check the vote and be trading. Are we copying the, are we looking at the half and we'll be copying the trade and go to be nice and repeat it? Because honestly, that 150 is what is stopping some of us. But we are going to use everything that we want to use, even though to start with the minimum amount, like $100. That's, we are looking for like $250 with that. Uh, not just that. You, you know, when you want to start with $100, after activating the board for 150 you still need to deposit gas fee. Let's say you have hundred dollar to trade in your Binance account, you deposit like twenty dollars into the pot. So you'll be needing approximately one hundred fifty, hundred dollars, that is two hundred and seventy dollars if your trading capital is hundred dollars. So yes, you need money to do no, all of that. That's, that's that's the issue. So I'm just thinking if 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 we can maybe teach us how to check the boat. And maybe boost our hundred dollar in the banners and we we'll get it. I don't know. Yes, when you get the board activated, I will teach you those because you need the board activated to be able to use the features that comes in. Okay. Yes. You need the board activated. If you have not signed off an account already, sign up. Um, uh, let me check if the account that is not active can give you access to some of these features put right down. Okay. You can start using them while um, use, uh, before you start activating the bot, but if not, we'll look at it and see if the bot can be activated, can be used, most especially the signal without the activation. Okay, okay, sir. Yeah, thank you, sir. All right, any other question? All right, if there is no other question, I hope you gained something today. Um, a link will be posted on the Telegram and the WhatsApp platform. If you have not signed up for the board, just go ahead, you know, sign up for the board and let's see how we can help you achieve success trading features daily using the board. All right, if you have bigger capital, $10,000 and above, then wait for the super board next week. You can automate that, go about your daily activities, and just be waking up every morning and be seeing profit in your, in your exchange. Okay? So that is all I have for you guys this evening, and I'll see you guys next. Uh, by Wednesday, yes, that should be our next meeting. So Wednesday, see you all.